So what we see here is the new CatPhone S60. The CatPhone S60, it's a high-end smartphone. We, we build in the new Snapdragon 617 processor, an octa-core processor. We have 3 GB RAM, we have 32 GB ROM. Uh, we have a 4.7 inch HD display, it's Gorilla Glass 4, so it's a very resistant, very strong glass. So it's really a high-end phone. Secondly, it's fully ruggedized. Ruggedized means um, we have IP68, but we apply to military specifications the MIL 810G specifications. This specification means we are water resistant, all kind of water, salt water, dusty water, muddy water. It can be oil, it can be any kind of liquid, so we don't care. This is really very resistant. Plus, it's dust proof. Dust proof is not just in a laboratory situation, but if you go on a construction site, if you go to the desert, you go to the sea, all kind of dust, we are resistant again. We are resistant against grease and oil and all the other stuff. Then, the military specification means we are drop proof up to 1.8 meters. So you can drop this device many times, up to 1.8 meters, and we guarantee it's not gonna break. Even the display is very resistant. And you can really see it's very massive. It's a die-cast aluminum frame. And this is very shock resistant and very strong and very powerful. So we have a fully functional smartphone. We have it fully ruggedized and we can use it as an action cam. What makes it very special, we can go down to five meters. Normally, IP68 says you can go down to a meter, 1.5 meter, but we guarantee five meters. How do we achieve that? Firstly, we have here a special ceiling for two nano SIM slots, and this ceiling makes sure that no water comes in. Here we have the micro SD slot for 128 gigabyte on top. Um, this is a prototype, so we're going to have a manual lock later on, so to avoid that you just open it coincidentally. Secondly, if you go below two meters, what you see here is a mecha mechanical closure, so we can close the speaker and the microphone with these switches to make sure no water comes in, because these two points are the weakest points when it comes to water. The water pressure from two meters on is so massive that you might really get um, water in. And it's not just the action cam, it's not just a smartphone, it's not just ruggedized. Um, it's a world first with a thermal camera module here. The camera module or the thermal camera module is from FLIR, an American company. They are the market leader in thermal imaging. You might know them from helicopters with thermal identification from military systems. So there's a several millions of investment behind this technology, which is now available in a product in a smartphone. If we just open it up, you can see we have an accuracy up to 30 meters, which is 0.1 degrees Celsius. So really you can measure um, 30 meters, you can, see, you can detect the heat, you can detect a leak in the wall, you can see electricity failures, you can detect any kind of difference in temperature. Between 30 to 50 meters, accuracy goes down slightly, but we promise we go up to 100 meters to detect if there is a heat source. For example, you're looking for a lost human being after an accident, you're looking for um, a lost pet, or you're looking for wildlife, a hunter, we see up to 100 meters what we can do. This, for example, is one of the pictures we've taken here to show. You can see here the average temperature, the maximum and the minimum. And what's interesting, you always have an overlay between the normal camera and really, um, I have some, some sample pictures here. So you can see it's always an overlay of the normal camera plus the thermal camera. I'm ready to see if there's really always a different source detection. Um, I show you an inter interesting example, I'm just make a live picture here. For example, we have the minimum and the maximum. The maximum is the red triangle and this is the minimum to see what's behind it. Here we see this is the, the notebook, the smartphone, um, which is the, is the maximum. The minimum here is a cool drink. So you really can identify exactly what's, what's going on. Now I'm in a live mode. And to see, I'm just filming these beautiful ladies here. I can say, okay, I want spot on. I want spot on really to see the measurement. And you see how accurate it is. You can see really, you can detect what's the, the problem. And um, we can change the mode. For example, I just want to see the hottest 
the hottest areas this for example is important for fire and rescue detection you don't care about the temperature itself you want to see where's the hottest spot where's the fire coming from or looking for a missing person to say okay where is some heat left so we have different you know we can take the coolest one so okay um, here you can see what's the coolest one and this, for example, is important. You can see now here is um, cold air coming out of this room. So there's air conditioning in there and we can see some, some cool air is coming out. This is important for the efficiency of housing, uh, for energy passes and other stuff. So you get a different way of, of presenting whatever you want to do um, to, to show really the temperature. Um, what else, if you go back to the, um, to the gallery, for example, um, I just go in the operational modes. I want now more and a more specific view on that. I make it bigger. I say I want the maximum temperature, I want the minimum temperature, okay. So here again we see live. This is the hottest spot with 39 uh, 33.9. Why? There is a power plug, so we are charging. And here's the coolest one. So this is important, for example, you're looking for a fail in electricity, you can see which wire, which face is not working, or you see a fuse, um, you see whatever in a car, you see there's a leak in the exhaust system. So I have various ways of detecting that. 